Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, I promised you I'd do you another Divine Masculine reading. Um, before I do this reading, I just want to talk about this energy that's coming in. 14th of December, we've got Saturn conjunct Jupiter. Now, that's, that's going to be a reset, a reset of our lives. We're going to press the reset button. But on the 21st of December, that's, that's the eclipse. That one is going to be a big one for everybody. It's going to get rid of um, 800 years of karma, of um, anything bad. We're just having a full reset and that's for every single person in the world. Reset. You're gonna let things go that no longer serve you. You're gonna transition into something new. It's either gonna be gentle or it's going to be, well, it really depends on, on your chart as well. It really depends on the work you've done. It really depends, but it's gonna be a reset. It could be emotional. It could be easy transit. It really depends. But remember what I've taught you, just keep praying, keep meditating, keep doing the work and always give out good, good karma. This is like a, a reset of all our lives and it's going to push us to our soul journey, where we're meant to be. It's going to put us where we're meant to be on our soul journey. So whether it's harsh or gentle, it's at the end of it, you're going to really, really appreciate where you end up because it's going to put you where you're meant to be. Um, what else did I want to say? And the people that haven't been doing the spiritual work, that haven't been believing in God, that hasn't been talking to the universe. These people that are just oblivious to it all, they're gonna have a few years of karma until they get it. Because like I said, this is a reset. And spiritual people, I mean, even for spiritual people, it's going to be a shift. So you could see people leaving your lives <clears throat> new people coming into your life and that really depends what you know you could meet your soulmate your twin flame whatever it's going to reset your life and put you where you're meant to be um so it's going to be a very big one on the 21st of december so just keep doing the work that i've taught you to do for three years it's going to get rid of three years of pain of suffering of even more more than that, even more than three years, but three years is going to be very prominent on this energy. So whatever no longer is going to fit in your life is going to go. If you're in a relationship, if you are in a relationship now, it's going to, it should make it stronger now for you. That is if it's not built on sand. If you're okay now and you're strong now, it's going to make it stronger. So remember that. Right, I'm going to get into this region. I want to see where the Divine Masculine is at, what he's doing, what whatever's coming in for them as well. Right, Spirit Guides, Angel Guides, please get me into the energy of the Collective's Divine Masculine or the person they're thinking about, please. Thank you. Right, your person who you're thinking about is very disrespectful. Very disrespectful. I would, messages are coming through that, the mouth, the words, the words that come out of your person's mouth can be very, very disrespectful, very harsh, very nasty, very cold, very bitter, and very disrespectful. Now, this could be him or this could be the karmic. If he's with a karmic, this could be her being very disrespectful to him. Remember, always take what resonates and leave what doesn't and don't make it fit into your life. Throw away what doesn't resonate. But you know, when I start the reading, it, it always 
could end up at the end you know the end result not the beginning because then the story will come to me even more now for now if this is her she's been very disrespectful to him or he's been very disrespectful to her or he was like this with you and he's doing the same thing to her now if he's not happy where he is and he wants to get out which i think he wants to get out he's going to come back and guess like you so this is a warning for the ones that don't want him back for the ones that want him back if he comes back which he's going to come back he's going to try and get you back remember take what resonates i've got a lot of people that are in different situations so it looks like he's going to come back to gaslight you that's detected that's detected that's so that that's the energy that he's in or he's gonna be in so she could be the karmic could be disrespectful to him or he could be disrespectful to her he's had enough of her he's being mouthy to her he doesn't not talking to her nicely this could have happened to you as well where he was disrespectful to him and now he's getting it back from her Okay, he's gonna go through his karma. This is what he's done to you. He's going through his karma, past life. Or this could be his past life, past, past life, that he's brought into this life and he's paying for it now. He's paying for it now. So she could be very disrespectful to him. And he's gonna come back to you but he knows he's going through his karma. They all jumped out and I'm not taking all of them. Let's see what this two are. Yes, confirmation. Somebody's feeling very burnt out in this. Uh, they don't want it anymore. And we've got another karma card. Their karma has come. Their time is here. Now remember, if it's not right now, this second, it will come. Readings can't be precisely now. It can come in a few weeks, in a month. It really depends. Somebody's being abused in this relationship. Somebody's either being abused or they're the ones doing the abuse to someone else. So we don't know if it's him or her now here. Um, somebody is crying for help. Somebody wants to get out of this. Somebody's not happy. They know they've got their karma, their time is up, and it's come back to haunt them. It's time, it's a repay time for them. Right, I'm not taking them all because they all fell out again. Spirit guides, angel guides. Right, it looks like to me that your person is going to free himself from this, this karmic in the spring, next spring, which is not long, really. It's only four months away. Um, he's going to have his free will. He's going to use his free will and he's going to leave in spring. So by next winter, you could, he could come back by next winter to you. That's in a year, but by then I think most of you would be well and truly over it. And others of you, um, it's others of you, you want him back, he will come back to you. I feel like he's been numbing his thoughts, numbing 
his feelings for you, hiding it away, pushing it to one side, didn't want to acknowledge it. He's been suppressing his feelings for you. He's been numbing, but he knows you're his divine feminine. He knows this because of what he's going through with her. Remember what I said in the beginning of this video, the eclipse that's happening on the 21st of December is going to push us where we're meant to be. So if you're meant to be with him, or he's meant to be with you, he's gonna come back to you. Because it's, he's meant to be with you. Remember that. But if you don't want him back and you've moved on, that's, that's your choice. Everyone has free will, yes. He's gonna be at a crossroads in his life. Um, he's gonna be in a situation where he doesn't know what to do. He's gonna feel like he's confused. Don't know which way to go. Shall I go here, shall I go there? He doesn't know. But the universe is going to push him into a dark night of the soul. And this is very, very painful. I mean, I know most of you have been through a dark night of the soul and it's not nice but then you feel awake and you feel like, you know, you, you're on a different level, you feel a lot better because you become more spiritual and this is what he's gonna become. He's gonna go through a dark night of the soul. That's when he's gonna get answers. I feel like your person is very toxic, was very toxic. He wanted you to be very bound to him, very stuck to him, uh, very controlling, very manipulative but very addictive, You're, you was addicted to him. And as much as you wanted to break away, it was very, very hard for you to break away. He's still holding onto the past. He's still holding very tightly onto you. Whether you think, no, he's not, he's gone. You can never ever read somebody's heart or mind. You just look at the outside of them and you think, well, he's all right, he's not showing it. But this is what I'm reading, his deep, feelings and he's holding on to you he's going to go through a dark night of the soul and that dark night of the soul is going to be very very painful for him because he's holding on he's getting his karma he's going to understand what he'd done to you his time has come to go through his karma and this is a double confirmation of this he's going through karma two karma cards so He's going to go through a very dark night of the soul. He's going to be holding on. He's going to feel... I feel like he's going to feel very, very sorry for what he did, very regretful, and he will understand what he did to you. He's going to be a victim, or you was a victim, and he made you feel like this in your, in your life, in your energy, in your, in your everyday life. You felt tied up where you couldn't move and i'm not saying that physically energy wise you couldn't do anything you was like his victim he's gonna be in fear he's gonna be in fear when this happens to him because like i said he won't know what to do it's gonna be very hard for him to go through this dark night of the soul it's very painful very painful but it's very painful but it's worth it at the end of the journey and it will take about a year I would say a year roughly a year this card wanted to pop out so he will ascend he will be ascending he will be getting the lessons understanding what he did to you but at the moment he's stuck he's stuck and he's going through lessons but at the moment he's stuck but this eclipse is going to, I feel like it's going to affect most of the divine masculines very, very harshly. He's going through lessons and he's stuck at this time. I do feel like you have your self-worth. A lot of you, a lot of you have your self-worth back and you feel, you know, free, elated, happy. You feel you're okay. You've done the work and... You feel good. So the answer is yes. 
this is divine timing so this is going to happen to him in divine timing so it is going to happen in divine timing and i feel like he's going to understand what commitment is he's going to understand what married life is he's going to understand what it's what it's like to be with somebody but really commit and not to do this disrespectful um the way he was disrespecting you he's getting it back from her what are the messages for the divine masculine please what is he gonna go through going through whatever messages you have please Right, I do feel like the karmic is very manipulative. I feel like she, or this could be him even, she or he was very manipulative. Maybe this is her doing it to him and this is what he done to you. So she's very manipulative to him and he's, he's gonna be in pain. Now, he done this to you, he left you in pain and I feel like he was very, very selfish, very self-indulgent, very thinking of himself, put himself first all the time. If he wanted to drink, he'll drink. If he wanted to smoke, he'll smoke. If he wanted to go out and do what he wanted, he did. He was very selfish and very self-indulgent and he put you secondary. Always you were second to him, to everybody. He put you second. That's what he's getting back now. She's doing what she wants. She's manipulating him. If she wants to go out, she'll go out. And he's sitting there getting his karma. Right, one fell. Right, I feel like your person didn't believe in God, didn't believe in the universe, didn't believe in angels, didn't believe in anything, not spiritual at all. He's going to be very, very... He's going to go through the very pitfall of life in a very dark place, very dark night of the soul. But when you go through this very, very painful, deep, dark place in your life, you do evolve. And that's what he's going to do. I feel like he or she is ruthless to him or he's to her or he's done this to you. He was very ruthless, didn't really care. And I feel like he was very childish to you as well. Very childish. And he could be like that with her, but she's not taking it. She will not accept that. And I feel like their relationship is one-sided. All one-sided. And I feel like their relationship was based on lust. On her side. On her side, it was lust for her. And your person is feeling very unlovable at this time feeling unlovable, abandoned, not wanted. And this is, like I said, what happened to you is happening to him. And I feel like your person is feeling like a coward, like a coward. And if he's not now, he's gonna coward and very foolish. His feet, he's gonna feel very foolish for what he did to you and he's feeling very cowardly to you as well, for what he did to you. Because this is what happened to him. And this is how he's gonna feel when she's finished with him. He's gonna feel like a fool and a coward. Because I don't know if he stands up to her the way he did to you. Right, the, um, the karmic is very insecure person. She's very insecure. But she's a trickster. She's a trickster. She tricked him. She tricks people. But she's an insecure person. But she acts very, very confident. But she's not. 
And he's saying, I don't care about the karmic, I'm only using her. But she's got a lot of secrets. She's got a lot of secrets that she's not telling him or she's hiding from him. But he thinks she's honest. But he's just using her. She creates negative energy. So if you feel like your energy is... Um, sometimes it's not good or it's not right or something is happening, that's because she's creating negative energies to him and he's thinking of you and that's what he's portraying. Remember, we're all energy. I do feel that your person is not very strong at the moment. I do feel like he's not the same as he was before, energy-wise. I'm talking energy-wise. She feeds off your masculine's energy. She feeds off him. I'm stuck in lower energies. I don't know who I am. So she's really changed him and he doesn't know who he is. And remember in the last reading what I said, what she's done to him as well, the magic and um, I feel like he's jaded and he's just settled there, but he's not happy at all with her. He's not happy at all. And he's saying, I know this is my lesson and my karma. Now this is triple. This is a triple confirmation. We got two lesson cards and now we got three karma cards. So he's gonna go through very, very harsh. Um, the karmic threatens him when he tries to leave. She's abusive and she's toxic to him. So when I say what goes around, comes back around, it really does. So she's very abusive to him and very toxic to him. He could be feeling very bound to her and he can't get out of it. You see, she knows my heart belongs to you. He, she knows. So she knows and maybe that's why she's very, very abusive to him because like I said he's holding on to you he's holding on to past he's holding on she knows she's not a nice person she's really not I feel like in the beginning she showed a side to herself that she's this person she's nice um, she was very appealing to him he went for her but she was hiding secrets and the secret she was hiding is she's very abusive. She manipulates people and she gets what she wants. What this energy is gonna bring is he's gonna it's gonna bring him answers, it's gonna bring him to his honesty, into his good intentions, and he's gonna maybe tell you the truth he's going to talk to the you the truth but after he goes through this dark night of the soul he's going to feel very grief sorrow pain and loss energies are going to hit him very hard but then again this is karma this is why i always say to you put out good always do good give good send good intentions send love send everything and if that's what come back to you when you send out anger and hate and bitterness that's what you get back that's what you you vibrate out what would the divine masculine say to his person if he could you inspire me I don't know if I can meet your expectations. And this one is you inspire me. So this is why when he goes through the dark night of the soul, he's gonna think of everything he did to you. I feel like he's doing that now, but it's gonna be more deeper. And he's gonna think you inspire him. Um, I feel like he wants to leave her now. He wants to leave her now. 
but I think he's in fear of leaving now. But his heart is telling him, just do it. Just do it. Is it possible to forgive and forget? So he wants to know if you would forgive and forget what he did. And he doesn't know how he feels anymore. And he's also saying, I'm finally feeling the consequences of my action. This is a fourth karma card. He's feeling the consequences of what he did to you. He's getting it back from her. Um, and that's what he's going to say. And that's what's going to happen. And just pray for him that he gets through it. But it's going to be very, very harsh lessons he's going to go through. But this is going to change him but this is not for every single divine masculine out there this is for some of them but they will all feel this harsh energy like I said the ones that are not believing in God the ones that are faithless these are the ones it's going to hit the hardest so I tell you all keep doing the work keep this is a reset you're going to press your button back to zero in your life you're going to start a new life Everything you want is in incubation now. Everything you want is in an incubation. You might not see it in December. You might see it in February or March. Your manifestations come to life. But for now, they're in incubation. Keep doing the work. Keep doing what I'm teaching you. And you're going to, you're going to reap the rewards at the end of it. Just keep doing the work on yourself. Send out love. It doesn't matter who makes you angry. Yes, let the anger out, but then send love. Whatever you vibrate out, that's what you will attract back into your life. What you will attract back into your life. That's what I've got for you. Thank you for watching. Please keep your comments down below. That's how I connect to you all, and that's how I can do these readings for you. Keep your comments, and please press the like button for me. I send you love. I send you many blessings on your journey of life. I will do another reading in a couple of days time. I need to do my work as well, my work on myself. Um, keep doing the work on yourself. I love you all. I send you many, many blessings on your journey. Take care until we meet again. Bye.